tell me about uh, how you ended up um, deciding not to serve in the Israeli army? Can you tell me about your experience with that? Um, well, it was a long sort of process of transition, um, but I, I ended up understanding that the Israeli army is not, as I thought, a defense force, it's also an occupying force um, that occupies territory um, that we don't need to. Um, and I saw no justification for the occupation, so I decided to refuse my service. Um, as an alternative service to my society and to the world, I decided to work uh, with rabbis for human rights uh, in Jerusalem instead of my army service. And what are you doing now at, as a student? What are you studying? Um, I'm studying political science and women's and gender studies, and I'm active, trying to be active on campus at Columbia um, around the Palestine issue. You worked for Rabbis for Human Rights in Israel. Can you tell me a little bit about what you did for them? I was mostly, um, I was mostly a field worker in East Jerusalem for Rabbis for Human Rights Israel. I was working very closely um, with Arik and Michiel, um, doing different work around displacement, settlement harassment, etc. Um, in East Jerusalem, and I also worked uh, in the education department with Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar. And what are the pressing issues in East Jerusalem that Rabbis for Human Rights is working on? Um, settlement expansion and displacement of Palestinians as a result, um, settler harassment of Palestinians, um, lack of resources and uh, distribution of um, infrastructure, social services, um, the, the great discrimination of Palestinians in East Jerusalem, um, and recently also children arrest. And how are they doing that? What, what are the tactics that they use? Rabbis for Human Rights um, works, but through sort of in a grassroots manner, building coalitions, talking to the local community organizers um, from the respective neighborhoods in East Jerusalem. Um, it's a very sort of bottom-up approach. Um, we also do work um, in, with the municipality um, and with the Israeli legal system, trying to change uh, sort of in, in, in the area where, where decisions are being made. Um, we also try to raise awareness among the Israeli public and give a voice, a Jewish religious voice of conscience. Um, or directed inward into the Israeli community, um, calling for, for justice and change.